so as you may know Fedora rolled out their new logo a few days ago, and I want to show it to you in all places appeared in GNOME before and after. Chino-san? How we can do that? Use a virtual machine maybe? What's a virtual machine? Well, it's basically... this right here. That's a computer. Well, it, it thinks it's a computer. No, it's definitely a computer. It's actually a computer inside a computer. Oh, I see. Like Chino inside the sleeping bag? I'll explain. <laughs> so the first place the logo appears is on GNOME login screen. Then, we have the Fedora background watermark which is actually a GNOME shell extension. And the third and last place it appears is on settings, and most specifically on about page. That was actually Fedora 33 with the old logo, so let's rebase to 34 which is currently on beta. By the way there is a flag that enables software app to update to pre-releases. And meanwhile the update may only took 12 minutes, but that progressing bar really gives an awful feedback, and it only makes you wondering if it bugged or something. And the install button? Even worse! After a minute with nothing happening, I opened a terminal to check what's going on. But then a restart dialog appeared with a countdown, and the system actually immediately restarted without me doing anything. And so, before, and after. Hum, and it auto logged in me? Anyway, so we have the Tor app and welcome to GNOME 40. E, and we also have that watermark too. And if we quickly go till to the very end, we won't see any Fedora logo on it other than a hope to enjoy Fedora message on the last page. And obviously the new logo is already on settings in the about details, but I don't think it actually fits very nice there. But the one place I believe the new logo really really shines, and I promise all Fedora users will totally notice the difference, is definitely on the login screen. <laughs>